What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host as always, Headphones Neil, bringing you my review for The Book of Boba Fett Season 1, Episode 1, Stranger in a Strange Land. So I had a chance to watch it a couple of times just to get a general idea of what's happening in the S show, um, get a good, good feel for kind of where I think they might go with it. And overall, I want to say that it was a good start to the season. They didn't really necessarily say kind of which um, direction they're going to go in. It kind of feels like they're starting after the events of the last season of The Mandalorian. Um, because we do have um, Boba Fett get, having his armor or wearing his armor. So all in all, that was all good stuff there. Um, the best part of the episode, in my opinion, was the whole scene with the Sarlacc pit. So we now know how he was able to get out. Um, uh, he was stuck in there. He passed out. Uh, when he comes to, he's able to find an uh, existing Stormtrooper uniform that has power. And he's able to use his flamethrower to escape. And he's, um, ult his armor is ultimately stolen um, in this flashback by the... Um, Jawa, so we know we find out how he loses his armor, and then um, he's taken prisoner by some Tuscan raiders. Um, so that was all pretty interesting to see how his escape happened. He's haunted by dreams of that. Um, a little bit of flashback to the time on Geonosis and on uh, Camino. So I'm kind of curious to see how they're going to tie that in, or what the significance of all that is. Um, and then beyond that. We, he basically starts to hold core, so um, he's accepting donations for being the person replacing Jabba the Hutt and taking over his territories, and how it's not going to go as smooth as he wants, especially since Jabba ruled by fear and he wants to rule with respect, um, and kind of change how things are being handled by the criminal element on Tatooine. So we'll see how that all goes and how he ultimately takes power or doesn't take power if he leaves or how he creates his own little niche in the criminal underworld on Tatooine, or if he's ultimately forced to leave um, the planet to go on his own other missions, or if it's not for him or something like that. So we'll see how that goes. And then also how Fennec Shan ties in with um, serving him, because I got the feeling early on that she didn't want to do it, or maybe he has something over her, um, or there's some reason why she wants to stay that, stay that we don't know about as of yet um but overall that was very there was a lot of um flashbacks that going back and forth we see him like i said holding court but then we see how he escaped his sarlacc pit um the ultimate goal of getting water from the tuscan raider so he can survive so i'm curious to see how he escapes um, or if he ends up learning their language um or generally just what happens as far as um, connecting the dots between his time as being a captor by the Tuscan Raiders and then wanting to, con wanting to control the criminal element, uh, or if maybe it's because of his time with the Tuscan Raiders and wanting to um, create a, or having tie created a deal with them or something like that, um, in order to rein them in and leave the Tuscan Raiders alone or something like that. So. We'll see how it goes, but overall a good start. Um, I did enjoy all of it, um, especially basically the highlight was the whole uh, scene with the Sarlacc pit and the Tuscan Raiders. The st side as far as making the rounds and not having, um, not going around on a barge or whatever and being carried around was intriguing to show how he's changing that. Um, it was a weird thing to see him being taken down by those. I guess bounty hunters maybe or um, maybe another like the warriors of another rival faction and not being able to survive that on his own so it kind of showed to me that kind of showed weakness so we'll see how that affects things um, or maybe they were trying to judge the strength of him Fennec and the Gamorians um, so we'll see how all of that goes and how they um, tie that all together. Uh, one little tidbit that I thought, I thought was that was kind of interesting was the sound that his helmet makes when he puts it on sounded a lot like the s sound that we heard when we hear Darth Vader's helmet being put on for the first time at the end of Revenge of the Sith. So we'll see if that's of any significance or that's a little bit of a tie-in, uh, maybe related technologies or just the generic sound for putting on a helmet of that type. So um, there is that. And then... 
um, that's really all I have to say about it for now. I mean, it depends on where they go with the um, season and all the various episodes, and if it's going to kind of just be his rise into the criminal world or leaving the criminal world, maybe connecting connections to Crimson Dawn or various other criminal elements, um, and kind of creating law in a lawless world like a cowboy just to have that power now that the empire is not there but having knowledge of the empire and their um, strategies and abilities and things like that and then also not having the jedi in the way to stop him so that's all there is for this particular review and thoughts so um we'll see how the season goes i can't look i can't wait for more episodes um i haven't decided if i'm going to do a per episode review or not or just overall season review but we'll see how it goes in each week um i did like that they continued with the um artist artistry style screenshots at the end of the episode so um I'm, I haven't had a chance to check out the um, website to see if, they ha if they've made those public or how that's going to go or if they're going to sell the soundtracks like they did with The Mandalorian. But overall, all of that was good. I like that little touch and then the soundtrack as well. So um, we'll see how the season goes. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comment, feedback, but did you like or dislike the episode, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode, and until next time.